Welcome to Look at Her, the A-Queen after show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, flayed with, and made with. <laughs> and she'll spill a little tea. Ooh. Unsubstantiated. <laughs> or if she needs to, she'll throw a little shade. Or she'll just tell us something that we don't know. Today's guest is the beautiful Kylie Sonique Love. <laughs> Looking gorgeous, honey. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and speaking of gorgeous, who's this right here? We got the old Gergmeister, Gergie McCon. Um, Lady Red, Gerg is now a certified <laughs> pornographic movie star. Yay! When will we be able to see your first feature? We have no idea. We have no idea. All right, well, it's going to be good. Now, will you help me and please deluxe this lovely shirt that we're presenting to Sonique? It says, I went to Hey Queen and all I got was a <laughs> lap dance. So that's yes. for you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Gergi. Hop along, little bunny. You can see much more of Gerg at his OnlyFans on OnlyFans.com slash Gerg is the word. Do you like your t-shirt? I do. It's from our friends over at Hunties. Oh, I like them. Yes. You're going to look great soft. in that. Yes. You're the first person to receive that. It's hot off the presses. Mm. And another thing that's hot off the presses, Sonique, is we have for you Shut your up. souvenir Hey Queen mug with you Wait. on Hey Queen today. <laughs> How did I, how did that happen? Are there like elves in the back? Yes, it's the magic of our friends at Hunties, the Hunties elves. There you are. They're not gonna believe it because I'm in a different outfit. Right, exactly. They're gonna like they filmed that in two days. Uh, well, Sonique has made an outfit change. She looks stunning. Sonique, stand up and give I me a little be twirl more on this than new happy look. To. Yes. Oh, yes. Get oh, get that mic. <laughs> <laughs> you gave your this look a title before we started filming. Luau Pussy. Yes. I love it. Lady Red, are you giving Luau Pussy too? No, I'm giving Young Mahi Mahi. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> All right, well now, Sonique, you know how to play this game, right? I, I've seen it on YouTube. So. We are going to look. Oh. And you are going to spill. Ooh. All right. Do I get like a fan? Do I get a pop? Sure, stuff? you can have a fan right here. What does this one say? It says, look at her. Okay. Let us begin. Look at her. Oh. Morgan McMichaels. Morgan McMichaels. I love her. Now, she sent you home on your season. <laughs> I don't like to look at it as she sent me home. Because <laughs> she didn't send me home, technically. RuPaul asked me to leave. Right, okay. And... For the record, I didn't get sent home because I was bad. I got sent home because there was no choice. That's right. Now, you guys are quite close. Yeah, um, her and I, we hit it off like uh, like immediately when we got on uh, Drag Race. Like, Did you meet one. for the first time on Drag Race? Yeah. Oh, okay. We met for, the, and it's crazy because we were like in a holding room and there was like these bubble glass windows and I could see in the other room and the other room, and I seen Morgan and I seen Raven. Oh. Before I knew who they were, and I was like, who are these bitches? I knew Nicole Page Brooks was gonna be there, but yeah, I didn't know uh, about anybody else. But Morgan and I, we've been friends, uh, and she's like my brother, or, yeah, or my sister, or whatever. Um, we, ha we have a good time. We've, we have our good times and we have our bad times, but there are times, and we love each other. Now, you live with her. What's yeah. it like living with Mo at Morgan's place? <laughs> <laughs> it is stressful. Really? Why? Well, because Mor Morgan is a lot like myself. She's a little scatterbrained, and she puts a lot on her plate and stuff like that. She's she's a hard worker, um, and I'm I'm so glad she got to get back on Drag Race to show people that she's fierce. Yeah. And um and she's getting she's getting more love, and I think she deserved that love. For she's, sure, she's, she's one of the best. Yeah. What's a moment with Morgan that we wouldn't know about, just in general, from your whole friendship? Um, Morgan was there for me whenever I first moved to California and I was going through like I this big scandal 
happen. Um, I had just gotten, uh, my season was being aired on TV and everything. And, and it was a moment where I should be like celebrating like myself and stuff like that. And, um, there was this guy that I was in a relationship with in Atlanta and we were going to move out to California. And the last thing he told me was I'm going to marry you when I get back. Cause he was going to Afghanistan for like a month to get some money. And then we were going to move to California and live with Morgan for a little bit. And he left as far as I know to go there and Morgan calls me from San Diego she never met him before I only seen pictures of him right. on uh, Facebook she calls me she said hey girl um, I just ran into your boyfriend I'm like what I said like, bitch stop playing with me because I'm crying I'm sad he left today she's like no he's here in San Diego Whoa. and I'm like what out of all the places in the world that he went to cheat on me with uh, or at he went to San Diego to Urban Moe's where Morgan happened to be doing the Dream Girl show on a Wednesday night oh my God. to meet up with this trans girl that he was I don't know anyway yeah so he, that's how I found out that he was cheating on me like what are the chances and she called him out too um, and he wouldn't answer the phone for like three days and he finally answered and I was like cr crying I never seen this coming at all and then he found out later on down the road that he cheated on me like a lot more Ugh. so yeah I was it, yeah so I'm not worried about guys anymore right. I'm focused on me that's good yeah but you got your sister who's got your she back she has my motherfucking back <laughs> I love it she might hate your guts but if you're her sister she has got your back God bless Morgan McMichaels look at her Oh, May May. Mayhem, another one of your brunch sisters. Well, me and um, Mayhem are really close because when I, I lived with Morgan, um, I lived like in the Riverside area and I seen Mayhem all the time and that was her, that's her best friend. And me and May always had a good time. We'd always go to the straight clubs together after the gig. Uh -huh. And we would go do karaoke together. And um, I just... I, you know, I've been rooting for May since I moved here, and to I've got to watch her not get picked to be on Drag Race all these years. Yeah, and we're like, May is fabulous. Everybody loves May. Like, why, why don't they see that? But it's because she was meant to be on a later season, and I think at the end of the day, she got like the best end of the deal because she got all those years of knows where she just got better and better and better so when she finally made it on tv she was like this put together like stunning queen you know yeah. like what for me and morgan we were like baby queens we i mean I've, obviously you can see like the difference from when we were on drag race to like where we are today yeah so what's a little tea on miss mayhem we know she loves to have fun well, back when we used to hang out all the time, we just liked we just liked the guys, you know. Uh, you were on trade patrol together. Oh, trust her and I <laughs> were always on. We steal our own trade patrol together. <laughs> she, we drove. We had a gig together somewhere, and. Um, and we were on trade patrol. We're always on trade patrol together. Okay, I think totally. that's good. <laughs> Look at her. <sighs> detox. detox. Oh, I love D2. Um, detox is originally from Flor Orlando, Florida, I believe. Right. Um, so when I was there, like, everyone loved Detox. Um, but when I came, I, I heard about Detox all the time through Phoenix in Atlanta because she used to live out here a long time ago before she got on Drag Race. And um, I would hear about Detox and that she had, like, her silicone abs and, like, everything was, like, silicone. And she was on a Rihanna music video. Mm -hmm. And then I met her. And D is, like one of the sweetest people you ever fucking meet. For sure. Like, she has a heart of gold. Now, what do you guys like to do when you get to hang out? Um, see, that's, we're always working. We don't get to hang out like that. You can be honest. It's another trade patrol sister. It's I know. It's definitely a trade patrol. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's always, always, always trade patrol. <laughs> you know, I have, I do have a dating app on my phone, even though I don't have time to date nobody, but it's nice to see what wants you. And like, sometimes when I go through West Hollywood, I'll just turn it on just to see what kind of guys are there. And I'm like, they have some of the hottest guys. Even the ugly guys are hot. Uh, West Hollywood is hot. Now, do you also <laughs> yeah. see all of your sisters on that app? <laughs> 
Não. <risos> de Sasha Colby. <risos> Logo. That's my girl. <risos> Oh, Adora. Adora Delano. Now, oh. you guys are very close, right? Yeah, she's she's like my drag baby. She really? She really is. Yeah. Um. Because you met her back in the day, right? I met her back in the day, and I knew, um, like, her and Laganja are kind of like, um, I'm like, I knew they were going to be on Drag Race, and I knew they were younger queens and stuff like that, and I was just like, "Here, take whatever you need to go on Drag Race." Oh, you gave them all your Ev- stuff. Anything they needed, and wow. yeah, and I just I, because I knew that they were stars before uh, RuPaul or Drag Race or whatever. So I'm so glad that they got picked to be on the show, and I'm so glad that they're doing what they love doing right now. Yeah, I mean, I adore the the far that she's come from when she was just that little kid off Idol going yeah. on Drag Race, and now she's a world-renowned rock star. It's incredible, and her music is so good. Like, yeah. her last album, whatever, is, like, I thought I liked the one before, but this last one is really good. What was the story from when she was a little baby drag queen? <laughs> the story? Or just, like, what an experience you had at that time? Um, I remember we were working together at the Abbey one night, and she was on the microphone singing or whatever, and she started doing, like, making, like, almost making the song campy and making fun of herself. Uh-huh. And I was like, Adora, don't do that no more. Mm. I was like, girl, your your voice is one of a kind. It's beautiful. You don't have to do all that. They're going to be entertained with you singing how you sing. Good advice. Yeah, because she don't, she's, she don't need to do that. She's fucking incredible. Look at her. For part two of Look at Her, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Her, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe!